Welcome back! If you're watching this video, then I must not have overwhelmed you with the last one. Great! Gathering treasures for our girls from head to toe can be a bit overwhelming. Making sure she has all the tools needed to succeed in life is truly a daunting task. But today, I'm going to break it down for you into actionable steps. You have now identified many skills and traits you want to gather as treasures in your daughter's life. Now it's time to equip yourself to store up those treasures. So grab a pen and a highlighter in your worksheets and let's get started. Action item number one is to identify the skills you can teach your girl. Let's go through the list you made on your worksheets to identify what things you can teach. For example, let's look back at the belly. Maybe you're a runner. Instead of going for runs alone, why not take your daughter with you? You will have to slow your pace, but you'll be teaching her to love exercise and you get the added bonus of time spent together. I would say most of you are adept at doing laundry. If this is a skill you can teach, then highlight it on your list. Go through the remainder of your list, highlighting the traits or skills you possess that you would feel comfortable teaching your daughter. You can either pause the video and do it now, or finish the training and go back to it later. Action step number two is to identify experts for other skills. Hopefully there are lots of things you can teach your daughter, but let's face it, even mamas don't know everything. To teach your daughter those things you aren't as good at, you'll want to bring in other people. Let's go to money management. If budgeting is not something you or your husband are very good at, call your friend who is an accountant. Ask her to spend a couple of hours with your daughter teaching her to set up a budget. Not only does this teach your daughter a valuable skill, but it reinforces the fact that there are adults other than her parents who care about her. Car maintenance may be another thing you want to bring in outside help for. There are probably lots of people in your church or in your family who know how to change a tire or check the oil. Ask them to show your daughter. Now take your pen and write the name beside that skill so that when it's time to call that person, you remember who you had in mind to teach a specific skill. Go through your entire list and write down names of who can help you gather those treasures in your girl from her head to her toe. You have identified and highlighted the skills you can teach. You have identified people to bring in to help teach the ones you aren't very good at. Action step number three is to list the physical resources you will need to teach your daughter, along with approximate dollar values for anything that needs purchased. If you're going to teach your daughter the life skill of sewing, you're going to need to buy or borrow a sewing machine. If you have to purchase one, list the dollar amount you will spend on this purchase. If you're going to take your daughter running with you for the exercise section, then she'll need good running shoes. Put the amount these will cost next to them on the list. Once you go through your entire list identifying what you'll need to purchase, you may want to throw up. Go ahead, I'll wait. It may seem a lot when listed out like this, but remember, you probably have a few years to gather these treasures in your girl. You won't have to shell out all this money at once. And the great thing about knowing what you'll need in advance is that now you can shop wisely. You can ask around and borrow from friends. You can purchase the items you need at garage sales or discount stores. Use those Black Friday or 60% off coupons. You also have a list you can use for Christmas or birthday presents as well. My brilliant husband came up with this idea. Every year for Christmas, he buys each of our kids a tool. When they leave our house, they will each have a fully stocked tool chest to take with them. How smart is that? They know they can count on getting a special gift from Daddy, and then when they are out on their own, they can look at those tools and remember how he, too, was preparing them for their future by gathering treasures. You should now have a great start of things to teach your girl so she is prepared for life outside your home. You have some actionable steps that will help you move from wishing to doing. What else is missing? If you are like me, the missing ingredient is accountability. I have a tendency to move quickly from one thing to the next, and so many great plans and ideas get lost in the shuffle. I need to be reminded regularly of what I need to be doing. I can make lists all day long, but if I don't follow through on them, they're just useless papers for me to feel guilty about not doing before I throw them in the trash the next time I clean. 
But what if you didn't have to feel guilty about not following through? What if you could actually do what it is you want to do to gather treasures for your girl? Well, you absolutely can. You just need some encouragement with a sprinkle of accountability. My mom always said the reason Weight Watchers has so much success compared compared to other weight loss options is the group accountability. She said weighing in front of other women was difficult, but it really made her consider her food choices between meetings. Rest assured, our encouragement accountability option is not going to make you weigh in front of other moms. In fact, you can pick the level of interaction with other moms you want. We have three levels of interaction available. Going back to our gathering treasures theme, our options are related to pirates. The first option is our passengers level. If you choose this level, the accountability is low, but the benefits are still high. For the passengers level, you get the devotional book Gathered Treasures. It is packed with 55 unique devotions for you and your daughter to read together. These devotions each have a lesson or story based on biblical principles moms and daughters can relate to. Each devotion comes with discussion questions that my daughter and I wrote together. These questions will be great to get the conversation flowing between you and your daughter. Find out what she thinks about everything from makeup to dating to her relationship with Jesus. And share your heart with her. The devotional book also includes lots of activities you and your daughter can do together. This is where the accountability comes in. When she reads these activity suggestions, she is going to want to spend time with you. What could be better than a daughter who asks to spend time with her mom? The shipmates option is for moms who want to start with the devotional book Gathered Treasures, but want to go deeper with additional training and encouragement as they implement the treasure gathering we have just covered. If you decide to join our shipmates group, every two weeks you will receive a video or audio training on one specific area of focus. This training will help you to be purposeful and intentional about focusing on one treasure together for those two weeks. This helps take the huge task of preparing your daughter for her future and splits it up into manageable chunks. If you choose the shipmates option, you will also get a weekly email with a prayer focus and suggested activities to teach the specific skill or concept from the training. The treasure hunters option is for moms who want to really dig deep with their girls. In addition to the devotional book the passengers get, and all the trainings and emails the shipmates receive, if you choose the Treasure Hunters option, you'll get access to monthly recorded interviews with real life moms who have struggled with issues you and your daughter will face. You will hear as these precious moms share their stories of heartache and triumph, and you will find out how you too can navigate through tough issues and seasons and keep your relationship with your daughter fully intact. Additionally, you Treasure Hunters will receive access to a special resource area where moms share ideas and resources that have helped them teach and train their daughter. If you have questions about how to talk to your daughter about sex, ask it there. If your teen is struggling with substance abuse, ask your fellow moms how they dealt with that in their own families. If you want books to read with your daughter about divorce or step families or new siblings coming along, then you'll be able to ask in the resources area to see what other moms have used successfully in the past. This resource area is where moms will go to report what is working with their daughters and what they still need prayer support for. No one can pray for your kids like other mamas can. I learned this firsthand when we were concerned about a neurological problem with my son. The mamas I know prayed for him like he was their own. What a blessing to have a community of believers to turn to for support. That's what the treasure hunters option is. So, how much do the different options cost? The passenger's option is only $13 for a book to use for more than an entire year. The shipmate's option is only $29 for a year's worth of resources. Trade one cup of coffee per month for invaluable training on how to prepare your daughter for her future. That's a pretty good trade. And the treasure hunter's option is only $59 for the entire year. That is less than $5 per month. So you can trade one drive through meal per month and you get a devotional book, weekly encouragement emails, lists of activities to do with your daughter, audio or video training on how to prepare your daughter for her future, interviews with moms in the trenches, 
and a resource area where you can pick the brains of moms all across the country to find the best resources to help you on your mothering journey. Now that is a trade worthy of a true pirate. I know you love your daughter fiercely, and when you remember her legs covered in band-aids for all her invisible boo-boos, or the way her hair sticks out all crazy in the mornings as she drags her teddy bear to breakfast, you realize how fast the time with her is going. There's nothing you won't do for your daughter. As a pirate is desperate for treasure, so too we mamas need to be desperate to gather treasures for our daughters. I don't want gathered treasures to be just another book you read together for a few weeks, then push under the bed to make room on your nightstand for your latest romance novel. Make gathering treasures with and for your girl a priority. Your time with your girl is fleeting, so make the best use of it you can. Sign up for one of the options below. Read the emails, listen to the trainings, and most importantly, put them into action. The trainings will only take up a few minutes of your time, but they will give you valuable tips on how to gather those treasures your daughter needs so desperately. For this season, God has entrusted you to be the captain of your daughter's ship. Don't steer toward the wasteland. Steer toward the treasure.